guys long time no see i haven't done a youtube video in so long honestly so my vlogging skills have gone out the window but today i'm going to show you how i make my jewelry i revive pieces of jewelry and also my setup i might spread it across um, quite a few videos um, but i just want to show you how i make my jewelry and my kind of ideas that i have at the moment as well i have these jewelry pegs one that's flat which is really good for sheet metal and one that's curved which is better for if you've already like formed the metal i tend to use this one more uh, because i t i tend to like form things after i've cut them out but this is really useful for filing as well um it's a tech life so at the time it was very cheap but it does the job actually really well and I was really impressed when I got it on my jewellery course because um, I had to polish things at home and things like that. So I can also use it as a drill and it's got a hose as well which I can just kind of like manipulate it, it's not, you don't have to hold it. Luckily now I've got a stand for it as well which is really handy as well. It's, it's kind of tucked out the way so I can just really just, you know, I'm not going to trip over it, am I? <laughs> it does the job for really small things, jump rings. Uh, this one goes up to uh, a higher temperature, I think 2300, uh, 1300, sorry, on this one. So this one's a little bit more powerful. It's still a butane torch, so it won't obviously melt uh, cast metal, only things like pewter. And yeah, I was really happy that I got this one as well. Uh, my most recent addition is this carousel, which is so useful, honestly. I can't believe that I didn't get this sooner. Um, so I've got all my polishing things here, all my pumice wheels, all the gem setting and also uh, drills here. And also my, my burnishes in here and just a handy random screwdriver. <laughs> But it is so useful. If you don't have one of these, I really recommend. It just makes your life easier than having it in a box. Of course, I have some cut lube, which is for your different blades. These ones are 1.6, I think. Um, but they're the ones I tend to use the most for thicker brass metal, which is what I use in most of my jewellery and I've got smaller ones hanging up here I've also got this magnifying glass which come with different lenses and I'm not going to lie my eyes are really funny I can't I don't know if you can see <laughs> my eyes look really funny in them <laughs> but I can um, switch out the lenses and it just helps me to see smaller gems and things like that and honestly this has helped me so much like my eyesight is good but it's not as good when you want to see like a two millimeter gem or something like that best thing the only problem with ultrasonic cleaner is it might drive your dog around the bend if he can hear it because it's really high pitched <laughs> and then right next to it i've actually got a waxing melt kit which is for your legs but i never used it in the end so I use it for my pickle and honestly this is the best thing to um, heat things up so I've just got like a little crock pot in there and it heats it up so I could to 
obviously separate everything and some storage in here i've got my metal i've got some aluminium there don't ask why i bought aluminium i i regret it to be honest because you can't do much apart from just form aluminium i uh, might rivet it who knows but i've got some copper some old bracelets actually that i've made of copper and silver plated which i thought i might do something with those um and then i've also got various brass wires sheet brass and there's like bigger pieces of brass in there as well and then we've got the sanding wheels which come in lots of different grits so we've got um going up from 80 to 600 which is in the back he is here so it goes up the grits the um you know 200 5 350 all the way up to 600 and then we've got these discs as well which i don't use as often i tend to like the round barrel um sanders and then we've got all the attachments as well in there and this is just all to do with the rotary tool it just i love these little compartments it's just made my life so much easier now we come to sandpaper and this organization is so much easier for me um obviously we've got like 250 here also 180 i'll go all the way up to 2000 which is great and this is my favorite bit templates and molds so i melt pewter in these different silicone molds that i've bought i'm yet to try this one and i've also got some templates under there on how to um you know different shapes to cut out and some calipers which are essential and this is a printer a label printer that i bought i just randomly put it in there who knows <laughs> then we come to mandrels so we've got bracelet mandrel we got um ring mandrels we've got extra hammers these are hammers that i don't tend to use as often this would be more for forming um and then this is really useful. I'm so glad that I bought this. It's for picking up magnetic jump rings if they've fallen on the floor. And it just makes your life so much easier. It's a really strong magnet. And I just have some spanners and random bits in here. But the mandrels are mostly for rings and bracelets here and some extra hammers. And this is the most satisfying part of the storage, the doming punch. So it has, it came like this when I bought it, it has a steel block, it also has these stamps which are like Hindu inspired, if you've seen my jewellery it's very cultural and like Indian inspired and I have a tiny little vise for gem setting and at the back here we have I don't really want to take them out right now because I have to take it all out. I have some um, bezel setting punches, which I'm excited to use. I have some loops, which come in different magnif magnifications. And this, again, is so easy to look at your jewellery if you don't want to put the big, you know, headset thing on. <laughs> Pre-made things. And I've got all my different types of pliers round nose pliers cutters and things like that and then we go on to this drawer again it's kind of miscellaneous but this is for the ultrasonic cleaner these are the pickle powder um, and we got flux which is obviously essential and this stuff is really great it's for it's liver sulfur it makes things black Slits in there. You can pretty much put anything in the square ones, and then these brown ones are great for earrings and also pendants. And I've got some bags. I tend to use the bags for rings, pins, and yeah. In these drawers, we have some more stuff as well. Up on these mini drawers, we have some soldering block, which is broken, don't ask why, I've had it for a while. And also, I have a a coal block, a charcoal box, which is somewhere here, um, I think I've put it in storage. And in the top one, we've got all of our stencils. The lower one, we've got... Um, diamond 
clippers and also really really small drill bits and these setting tools like a burnisher square setting tool um, and some blue tack um, which again is useful for picking up gems and then we've got all the different collets and this is such a good idea this is my own idea it was to um, get a piece of cardboard put holes in them so you can see exactly the sizes um, because I try to get one that has the same diameter as that as a carousel but I couldn't find one so I just made my own little thing <laughs> and then the la the next drawer is paint brushes and solder and picks and also um, what's it called tweezers so this is kind of an essential drawer so I tend to put those things together and then on the bottom we have the bars of pewter that I'm using for my brooches, some random pieces of metal which I really need to sort out <laughs> and also these are the um, the metal snips which are really useful as well and that's basically the whole tour of my jewellery space and apart from like the ring sizes and some little bits in here like scissors and nothing no, well, a lot of it isn't interesting, but in my eyes it is as a jeweller, so yeah, that's all of the whole tour of the jewellery bench.